Gaming journalism, ladies and gentlemen, it never ceases to amaze me or your average reader because of the articles it churns out for your reading pleasure. It was only a few months ago when I made a video on Kotaku's article, What I Learned From Watching A Great Deal Of Overwatch Porn. At the time, I loved Overwatch. I still do, actually. I play it from time to time, but anyways, uh, it had Overwatch and porn in the title, so naturally I was compelled to click on it. I'll leave a link for that video in the description box below if you want to see it, but the whole spiel was the, um, the author of the article, Kate Gray, randomly stumbled across Overwatch porn and she wrote an article about how problematic it was. You know, that it wasn't inclusive enough and all those SJW points you expect from a Kotaku editor. Now, for me, that would have been the end of it, but oh no, Kate Gray is back ladies and gentlemen, and she may have made an oopsie. She recently wrote an article on, you guessed it, Kotaku titled, animated video game porn could be a lot sexier and less gross. Now I will get into the uh, the controversy regarding the article later, but um, I think it's fair that we go through the article first. The other day I called my friend and asked her if she would be down to watch a bunch of video game porn with me so I could write about it. Friendship goals ladies and gentlemen, that's the kind of friends you need in life. I am blessed to have the kind of friends who would not only say yes to this kind of thing but would actually but would actively plan a beer and porn evening where I could snuggle up with her gigantic fluffy beast of a dog. Before you all start making creepy comments, the porn wasn't remotely sexy. It was hilarious and I wanted someone else to laugh at how bad it was. Plus my friend had been in porn herself too. I wanted her expertise and also to cuddle her dog. Why am I having a feeling that this article belongs on a, on a personal blog rather than on a gaming site? We began with something extremely terrible, Harry Potter porn. My friend and I are both into Harry Potter as much as you can be now that the author has turned out to be a trans exclusionary feminist who, cl who clumsily retcons diversity into her work. Seems to be a recurring problem with feminism nowadays. Retconning established lore to pave way for diversity and inclusiveness. There were four episodes, each centering on a different coupling, each using the low poly models from, I would guess, one from one of the PlayStation 2 games. Most of them, for reasons only the creator can know, involves Crabble or Goyle. I don't know or care about the difference, honestly. Let's just say Crabble. It would have been quite an entertaining watch if it wasn't for the utter disregard for accuracy. Hermione and Crabble met up in the Gryffindor common room, which is unlikely as Crabble would need the password, and then had sex on the sofa in front of the fire. Crabble magically removes Hermione's uniform without, with a wordless spell, which is magic far too advanced for Crabble, and then at the end ejaculated a weird stingy slime on onto her. In another scene, Draco rimmed Cho Chang in the hospital while Ron and Hermione had a cheeky shag next door, which seems logically unlikely not to mention unhygienic. Yeah, Kate, I don't think your average Joe, or even Jane for that matter, care about the storyline or the little intricate details. When a plumber turns up to fix pipes in a porn video, nobody is expecting him to fix the pipes. He will pipe the lonely wife down, if you know what I mean, but the pipes he actually turned up to fix, they ain't getting fixed. They are not gonna get fixed. People don't watch porn for stuff like that. They just want to whack one out real quick and that's it. A lot of people don't even make it to the end. Kate sounds like the kind of person who would who will probably watch a porn video to the end just to see if the plumber actually fixes those damn pipes or not. Finally, Harry got into the girls' dormitory to get a blowjob from Guinea. 
impossible since it's enchanted against boys, the dormitory, that is, not Jeannie's vagina. All the while, Cho and Hermione lay fully naked on top of their bedsheets, and at the end, Harry transformed into Draco and looked right at the camera. I have two reasons why I'm going through the entire article. To show you how pointless it is and to show you all the viewers of my poorly edited video on a dying channel, how much Kate actually knows about Harry Potter universe. If anyone actually manages to find any of that sexy, I take my hat off to them, especially as none of the female models had clitorises. You know, I wonder the same thing about furries. Anyways, Kate, this is the porn industry. If you think something is unfappable, trust me, someone has fapped to it. I'm going to be skipping over a few things in the article because they're not relevant to the video, but I will leave a link in the description box below for you to check it out if you want to. Finally, we found some animated Pokemon porn. The first scene was between Jesse Ash and Pikachu, who had a human penis. Uh, sorry. <sighs> mm, sorry about that. Yeah, it's, it's staying and I'm not editing that out. It was boring. The second the second was between Misty, Hypno and Licky Tongue. It was horrifying. Hypno uses his hypnosis power for evil while Licky Tongue slaps his big wet tongue all over Misty's shorts for some reason. At one point, Misty sucks off the tongue? I don't want to have sex with Pokemon, but surely there are more exciting scenarios than being in a threesome with a walking tongue and a magician. I don't know, Kate. People have fetishes. You know, some people have a fetish for feet, some for 3D women, and they might, then there may be some people out there who may have a fetish for a walking tongue and a magician. Who are we to judge? I left my friend's house covered in dog hair, drunk from the beers, and potentially put off sex forever. I know people who want to have sex with video game characters. I wouldn't say no to Solid Snake and his dummy thick ass. Wait, 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 wait. So it's perfectly okay for you to objectify Solid Snake, but when we gamers are offered hot women in gaming, you have a problem with it. Double standards much? So this article was published yesterday and today at the time of me working on the script for this video, it has already been bashed to hell. Kate Gray, who wrote the article, decided to include images as well, without considering that the characters are all underage. Or well, at least some of them are definitely underage. I was made aware of it when I came across this Twitter thread. Kotaku posted an article about how video game porn could be sexier and within they in and within they include they include graphic photos of Hermione from Harry Potter and Misty from Pokemon getting fucked by massive cocks and now recent era is losing their shit cuz they are underage and OMG Kotaku you are special there you have it people the oopsie article and the accompanying images. I mean, really, how stupid does a person have to be? Kate seemed to know a lot about the Harry Potter lore, to the point where she is pointing out the inconsistencies in the scenario showed in the porn videos, but she didn't take into account the age of the characters in, the, in, in those porn videos. She posted screenshots of those videos in her article and it didn't occur to her at all. Even the comment section was all fired up. The top most liked comment was, Me at the entire hot mess this article is, including the fact that nearly all the images you are showing arguably depict minors having sex, which you then brush past without even giving a second thought. Also, like, if you go looking for intentionally bad and gross porn, I don't get where the surprise is that you find nothing but intentionally bad and gross porn. Or like, why are we surprised that free porn on the internet that is mostly done as a hobby does not have stellar writing or setups when these clips are usually within the range of 5 to 10 seconds long? She is right. I agree with it. 
you hit us with a depiction of underage sex in more than two cases right right off the bat arguably for the laws characters not argue arguable with the hp not arguable with the oh no wait, 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 i'm sorry i got that wrong argue arguable for the legend of zelda characters not arguable for her for Harry Potter and Pokemon characters and the payoff for that immediate even if it's tagged as not safe for work punch punch in the face is what exactly now I know I totally butchered that comment but trust me it makes so much sense um yeah j just read the comment yourself dude I, I got a bad code and I'm totally butchering the the script right now another wrote animated porn of fictional characters isn't hurting anyone Realistic renderings of child actors is a big old yikes and nah. I mean, Overwatch is a genre onto itself. Activision Blizzard knows that. Who signed off on this article? Wow. Just wow. Apparently, this counts as gaming journalism these days. Like I said, this does not look like journalism at all. This belongs on a blog post or something. This does not belong on a gaming journalist site. But I guess gaming journalism nowadays is filled with opinion opinionated hit pieces anyway. So after the drama hit the net and Reset Era threw a hissy fit over it, because we all know that Reset Era holds some of the most vile and most toxic SJWs on the net, the images were taken off the article and the editor-in-chief issued a statement that is on the article now. This story, part of our regular coverage of the intersection of sex and games, originally included screenshots from several porn parodies with a note that they were not safe for work. We have since removed those images. While the intent of this article was to provide a snapshot of the kind of gaming and geek porn that's out there now, it's clear in retrospect that in terms of images and the analysis you expect from us, we made a mistake. Readers are understandably uncomfortable about these kind of depictions of characters who are often depicted as or thought of as teenagers. I am to, I am to and apologize. We can do better and we will. Uh, you won't. You won't. Stephen Totilo, Editor-in-Chief. Now, I can be a savage right now and look into the ages of the characters, but I can't be bothered right now. I got a really bad cold. I'm really struggling through this video right now. The only one I was bothered about, you know, was Hermione from Harry Potter, and this is what I found. Rowling states that she was born on 19th September 1979 and she was nearly 12 when she first attended Hogwarts. She is an overachiever who excels come on concentrate academy uh, academically. Um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm today's not one of my better days. And is described by JK Rowling as a very logical, upright and good character. 12, huh? Yeah, let's move on, shall we? So the images were taken down, editor-in-chief issued an apology, and Kate Gray set her Twitter account to private. But here's the thing, I did a little bit of research on Kate Gray and I found out something interesting. All the articles she has written lately for the site, they had a very um, suggestive tone to them. Don't believe me? Take a look yourself. Animated video game porn could be a lot sexier and less gross. The uplifting tale of Dildo Face, a sim who dared to dream. Blood packed, does sexy succubus BDSM game the right way. In my Sims world of only women, Marge Simpson is married to Taylor Swift. Life got you down? Load up The Sims 4 and open a semen cafe. Sexting with a robot is just as weird as you'd expect. Knife Sisters explores the tricky subject of player character consent. In Fable 2, the, the way to a man's heart is through farts. Dragon Age Inquisition. Let me be a hot mess. That time I turned Clue into a torrid murder love affair. The Fallout 4 character who broke my heart. 
Looking back on Super Meat Boy Creators controversial 2008 Flash game, Xbox Live Indie Games had some really weird smut. I made a sex club in The Sims and everyone got pregnant. What I learned from watching a great deal of Overwatch porn. A game about slapping an ass gave me embarrassing flashbacks. She used to write normal gaming articles with her, with her sexually suggestive articles sprinkled here and there. But I think it was after the Overwatch article that may have resulted in the article being shared across social media. She must have thought she hit gold. She must have been like, hey, you know what? My Overwatch porn article got loads of shares. If I write more sexually su suggestive articles like this, I will get more shares. Sex sells, ladies and gentlemen. We now have proof. Now, only, now if only you stop writing articles about the ladies in Soul Calibur, I will appreciate it a lot. Right, that's enough from me, fam. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and do share my video because it will only make my voice louder, my channel stronger, and my PP harder. Sorry if I sound a bit weird because, like I said earlier, I got a really bad cold. Um, I'm struggling to work. The more I stare at the screen, uh, the more it makes makes me fall sick and stuff. So. I, I do apologize if I sound a bit weird. Um, other than that, have a great day. Uh, follow me on social media for my hot takes. Other than that, have a great day and peace out, people.